One, the matter is on behalf of the residents and voters of Abuja. And uh, we simply uh, want the court to acknowledge that the residents of Abuja have a right to either approve or reject of whoever will be president of the country and who in that capacity will be like their governor, the one that regulates their daily lives, that approve of him, show that he has a level of acceptability uh, amongst them uh, uh, with at least 25% of their votes. And therefore that anyone, any candidate at all, who has not obtained that 25 percent of votes in, our, in Abuja uh, ought not to be declared uh, uh, president-elect. And then we are also addressing the court with respect to the effect of such, because one of the, the, the major thing that has been afflicting this nation has been this fear of Yes, I am Chooks. Chooks Mwachuku. I am Chooks Mwachuku. Right. Well, uh, we brought an application to refer our matter directly to the Court of Appeal. So the learned judge said that we need to satisfy him on some issues before he would uh, uh, rule whether to make the reference or not. So he talked about uh, issues of uh, local standard jurisdiction and uh, whether or not the, the matter is already before the presidential uh, election uh, uh, tribunal, election, I mean, petition tribunal. So those are the three issues he said we should satisfy him on. Uh, we have addressed those issues in our originating summons, but then he explained that he was yet to look at the summons. So we are simply going to lift the arguments we have already made on the summons. We are going to bring it to the fore, you know, for him to look at. What is the crux of your matter in court? Yes. Number one, the matter is on behalf of the residents and voters of Abuja. And uh, we simply uh, want the court to acknowledge that the residents of Abuja have a right to either approve or reject of whoever will be president of the country and who in that capacity will be like their governor, the one that regulates their daily lives, that approve of him, show that he has a level of acceptability uh, amongst them uh, uh, with at least 25% of their votes. And therefore that anyone, any candidate at all, who has not obtained that 25% of votes in, our, in Abuja uh, ought not to be declared uh, uh, president-elect. And then we are also addressing the court with respect to the effect of such, because one of the, the, the major thing that has been afflicting this nation has been this fear of a vacuum being created. If anybody announced by INEC is not sworn in by May 29th. There have been this belief that it will result in a vacuum and it will result in crisis. But we have brought it out to the court that the Constitution has envisaged such a situation. The Constitution has made provisions for that. Under Section 135 
uh, subsection 1, in the way and manner in which the Constitution creates the four-year term of office. It has made it that it will not uh, take effect unless and until you have a successor take the oath of office. So until a successor takes the oath of office, the president, being now Muhammad Buhari, who remains the president of Nigeria, the purpose of that provision is to guard the provisions of the Constitution uh, regarding how somebody can emerge as duly elected. Without that provision, the Constitution will be in disarray. It means that anybody who manages, by whatever means, to have himself declared as winner, you know, would have to be sworn in. And the major, this is a major issue of constitutionalism, that in order to avoid such a thing, we are people who do not merit power, you know, stampede their way into power. Wherever there is contest, wherever it is not clear who should assume power, the person holding it should continue to hold it. It's a principle of law. It's a principle of law. And the Constitution expressly states it. So that is what we are saying. So it does not, nothing stops this court from hearing us, hearing the residents of Abuja. And the court has asked us, OK, we will tell the court the issue of jurisdiction and all of that. We don't see any problems with uh, the issues that the court has raised. And we believe that we are going to satisfy the court. Uh, so much ago. Oh, good, uh, good morning. Bad morning. How are you doing today? I know, I know they're fine at all. Give us your review on this election, Matawe Day Court. Yeah, you believe that, you know, matter they never conclude that. And inauguration is fast approaching. May 29th, we are 14 today, I think. They go swear in Tinobu in the next one and a half week. You did say they go swear in Tinobu in. God forbid, they know swear that kind of person. The one where Buhari do remain, Nancy Bu won't continue and stop. They know they swear that man. For me, I know prepared to vote. Make them even swear that man self. Old man who don't need to die. Now they carry one put. Make them put the young blood with the walk. Tinibu is not going anywhere. Him no self. So as a matter they call, you know saying evidence you go use when this said you believe say the labor evidence rich ground where go make these people. Nothing like evidence. Obi don't win. Tinibu no get any you feel like me making noise, don't, Obi don't win already. I think we also get the same case for court. I think we should go and sit down. You know, get any talk. Yeah. See, you should go and sit down. So they should not swear in Tinubu. no get any business with swearing. If, if, if I see anybody swear, na problem. Tinubu no get anything with swearing. Right. Nothing concerning Tinubu and swearing. Right. Uh -huh. Thank you, bro. God. Sir, good morning. Uh, good morning, my brother. Uh, for matter of election of 2023, they court now. And they say... If you don't win the election, if you don't win 25% of Abuja, Lagos, and Kano, the person who's supposed to be president, how do you think this matter will play out so for course right now? Well, uh, I am not a judge, neither the lawyers. It's only the court and the lawyers will determine. But all I know, there is no election in Nigeria. What they did is selection. Is selection. In actual sense, Peter B won the election half done. Yes. I think it's also fighting for the same thing. So among the two of them, who do you think say go feel win this court case? Where they currently going? With uh, with uh, with uh, things on the ground, the evidence that Peter Bill have brought out. Yes, he showed that Peter Bill got winning. You think this month 29, a lot of Nigeria said they should not swear in Tinobu. And swearing is going to commence May 29, which is like one and a half week to go now. Today is 14, sir. So how do you think they go swear in Tinobu May 29, sir? Well, based on what the Constitution said, the 20, uh, 29 men will never be vacuum. So they must surely swear somebody in. And the person that will swear in, we know very well, the person that the INEC have announced, until the court determine who will be the... Do you believe that tribunal will be concluded before the swearing in? That's what Nigerians want.
Well, we know Nigeria very well. Nigeria is a kangaroo place where anything can happen. In actual sense, before they swear in, court supposed to be end of their matter before they swear in. So I then go determine who they will swear in. But as Nigeria, you may see, Nigeria, don't, their law don't go that way. They made law, they are the ones who break the laws. So they will not wait when they swear him in. The natives say justice will be served. Well, there is no justice in Nigeria. It's only for the poor where the justice holds. As far as Tilimbu is the Jagaban, we believe. Through the justice, we know very well. Thank you, sir. God bless.